Welcome back to another season of Third and Three. We kicked things off last week over there by the grill. We decided to bring things back here into the bowl this week because we got real football starting. Uh, real for us at least. We know regular season starts a week uh, after next. But coach, we're coming into another football season. Last year was probably one of the wilder ones we've had in a long time. We, we kicked things off at Tatna with a crazy game and then followed up with a couple more wild ones. Finish eight and two. In between it all, we had our HBC reach a milestone and he was congratulated by everybody, including his grandbaby. Congratulations, Coach. We love you. Coach, heading into your 16th year here with the Irish, what, what do you feel like has changed for you when you come into a season? How do you come into a season differently now than you did, say, when you first came to Dublin? You know, I think our biggest changes that we're dealing with right now are the changes that Georgia High School has mandated upon you. Uh, limited amount of practice time, limited amount of time to have contact on the practice field. And a lot of those things uh, makes it a little bit harder to get everything I's dotted and T's crossed going into the first game. So uh, other than that, you know, I'm real proud of our young men now. The expectations and are set for what our young men need to be doing in the summer, and they've just done a phenomenal job of maintaining that and taking care of it. Yeah, we had quite a few men of summer and man of summer this year. We'll yes, probably sir. flash a couple pictures of those here in a second. Well, Coach, shifting gears onto the gridiron, we're going to welcome Twiggs County into the bowl this week for our scrimmage game. What's the one thing you're looking for out of the boys this week? Uh, you know, I think the main thing is, is just game administration getting players on and off the field, getting plays run in offensively on and off the field, getting your special teams on and off the field, not having to waste timeouts and that type thing. And then I'm really interested in seeing how they respond to the leadership of our veteran players that are on the field. You know, practice is a lot different because you got your coach right. standing beside you in the huddle, uh, giving you little clues and tips before you go to the line of scrimmage. So at the end of the day, just game administration right. and, and getting some of the jitters out as they line up and play the game. Well, finally, who are three guys that if we're getting a program this week, we need to be underlining those names. It could be names that we watch, not just at Twigs, but maybe for the whole season. Well, I, you know, and that's hard to do because everybody certainly plays a, a huge role in the success of this team. But I guess if you wanted to go out and identify and look at, I'm going to give you four names. And these are, <laughs> these are four individuals that uh, college coaches have shown a great deal of interest in. Uh, two seniors in Jaden Darso and Bruce Guyton. Two juniors in Jermaine Cooley and Stephen Lynn. Wow, yeah, that's, that a good, that's a good other players don't do a folks. great job, but those four young men right now are on radar of uh, college football coaches, so hopefully they'll put together the type of year it takes that in uh, February they'll be signing national letter of intent. Well, the one thing that I've heard from Jaden's daddy, who's actually over here painting the senior shamrocks, that, well, as we do this show, is Jaden said, we're not going 6-4 and four this year. They've got that mental toughness that you want to see out of a football team, and we hope that you'll come see that toughness this Friday night. Make sure to catch us out here at the bowl. Season tickets are still on sale, $7 at the gate or $35 for the whole year. So come out here this Friday night and watch us against Twigs. $45 also for reserve seating. And those are on sale, Jason, uh, Wednesday through the, to the Friday of the first game at the board office. So we encourage you to come by and pick those up. Eight to five hours there at the board office. Come check us out. This is going to be a memorable year. I feel it. It feels good. Even though I'm sweating at eight o'clock in the morning, please check us out every Tuesday here for third and three with coach Roger Holmes. <laughs>